Greetings, Arkham Smiths. No, it's not James. Um, James has very kindly offered to post this video on his channel. So, um, Arkham Forge is a marvellous tool for creating maps and it allows us to add animated assets and animated maps. But Flowscape is also a great tool for creating animated maps. So, how do you combine the tool uh, in an easy and repeatable way? So what I want to do in this video is show you how using Handbrake you can take a Flowscape image like on the screen now and easily convert it into a 20 by 20 tile for Arkham Forge import. So create your uh, design in Flowscape and then I like to go to the controls panel and change the sky brightness to black. It just makes things a lot easier to see what's going on around your image. Once you've done that, you can select Map and Ortho, and there you get your top-down view. Now, here's the point where you can alter things on the map, move things around if you want, add some things, and change other things. The thing I'd like to point out is there's birds on this map, but they're flying out into the black. Now, you could just import this straight into Arkham Forge, but if you did that, you'd have a large black border with birds and other creatures and rocks flying around in it. So what we need to do is crop that down. Now, Handbrake naturally will crop any black borders around your video which is really good, unless there are birds flying around in it or other things protruding out of it, it then goes to the widest point. So what you need to do, push the space bar, record whatever you, record the uh, image with your preferred solution. I use uh, Windows Game Bar, about 20 to 30 seconds. And then you can load handbrake and import your image or import your video. Now you can see it's cropped on mine that's because I've got the preset as a default setting but what you'd need to do is go to the first tab and set the width to 1000 and the height to 1000 and then there are the cropping controls and once again you've got automatic so if you've got something that's not going out onto the outside or off of the map you can use that and it will automatically crop all of the black away from your image. In our case it won't work because we've got things flying around in the blackness so we need to crop it manually. Now when I run the or recorded the video I recorded it at 1920 by 1080 so the cropping parameters here are 40, 40 from the top, 40 from the bottom and 460 from each side. Filters I don't touch um, not found any use to yet. In the video, <coughs> excuse me, you have the option to change some of the characteristics of the video. You can improve the quality with this. Um, the default setting of 22 seems fine to me, uh, and I've not really fiddled around with it. Of course, if you make it better quality, the file's going to get bigger. On the audio tab, if you've got anything in here, clear it. You don't want any audio. And similarly with the subtitles tab. Once you've done those, you can go back down to the bottom uh, right hand corner and hit add. And a pop up will come up. You can then name your preset, tell you where you want it. Audio, selected behavior, um, I didn't really touch that, I just left that alone. And with the um, Subtitles preset, make sure that those two fields are set to none because you don't have any subtitles and it will error otherwise. You can then save that and it will appear as a preset. And you'll notice that in the uh, in the bar to the right uh, left, it says no audio track and no subtitle track. You then just hit encode and it will start exporting. Um, a thing about the preset, if you right click on your preset once it's saved, you can set it to the default preset so it will always load with the same preset. So as long as you're running um, Flowscape and taking the recordings at that 1920 by 1080 resolution, it will read them straight in. Um, one thing to configure before you do the encode 
is just to make sure that you've got your uh, default folder set for your output um, from uh, Handbrake. Handbrake's free, which is good. Not that there's me pointing at it telling you it's got no tracks and no subtitles. Um, there's also this web optimization. I've not really played with it. I'm not sure it will do a lot for us. Um, and as you can see, the video is finished, which is relatively quick for a 20, 30 second video. Um, and if I now go to my handbrake folder, play the video. You can see we've got a square video that works. So let's go to Ark and Forge. Let's go to the place we really want to play. Go to Cartographer in Ark and Forge. Load a map, mine's test 27. And then go to settings and import media. Navigate to your handbrake or videos directory. Pick your video. Open. Bosh. Um, so the way this is scaled is it's 20, 20 squares by 20 squares, which is um, just big enough to, to give a reasonable size map. Of course, in Arkham Forge, you can rescale it, uh, rotate it, or do anything you want. And uh, if you look here, it's just about hitting the edges of the squares. So when we come to load other media, it will um, lock together as we'd expect. So let's pick another map. Yet again, another animated map. Right click, control left click, so we're snapping to the grid. Now control rotate, so it's rotating to the grid. I like it now, I'm fighting. And there we are. Make maps. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks to James for letting me do it. Like and subscribe.